We've all been there. You accidentally hurt your cat. Perhaps you unintentionally step on their tail, stumble over them, or shout at them. Now, of course, you feel bad about your actions and want things to go back to normal. Apologizing to your cat is the best way to keep your relationship strong after you've committed a feline offense. But how do you tell your cat you're sorry? And even if you do, will a cat understand you when you apologize? Stay tuned to find out. It is important to remember that cats are very different species with their own distinctive ways of thinking. While they are intelligent animals, they don't have the same concept of apologizing as humans do. However, if we do something harmful to our cat, then showing them that we didn't mean to hurt them is very important. Cats may not understand the concept of an apology in the human sense, but they can feel love and affection. The key is to reconnect with your cat, reassuring them that you pose no threat and harbor no anger towards them. How to apologize to a cat Before rushing over to apologize, it is important to observe the cat's body language. It is possible that your cat needs some space before they're ready to connect with you again. If you just stepped on their tail and sent them running for cover, chasing after them will only cause more stress and fear. When you want to make amends, it is best to wait for the cat to approach you. Remember, a lowered tail, an arched back, or flattened ears are telltale signs that your cat is threatened and needs some space before you try to make amends. On the contrary, Relaxed ears, an upright tail, or a relaxed body posture are all positive body language signs that indicate your pet is ready to engage with you. When your cat is finally relaxed, you can apologize by speaking to them in a calm tone of voice while blinking slowly at them. Cats recognize your voice and respond to your vocal and facial cues. Cats love treats, so offering them some of their favorite treats while talking to them in a soft voice helps create positive associations. It's a great way to show them that you're truly sorry. How long do cats stay angry? Due to the way short-term memory functions in felines, cats typically forget one-off bad events within 16 hours. So, if you accidentally step on a cat's tail and apologize, the cat won't hold a grudge against you. However, cats remember abuse and repeated mistreatment for the rest of their lives. This is because cats also have associative memories. Your cat will learn through experience that you are a threat and an untrustworthy figure. This doesn't mean that the cat is holding a grudge. It is just that the cat is merely keeping itself safe. They're just trying to protect themselves and prevent the traumatic event from reoccurring. So, while your cat may not remember genuine accidents or honest mistakes, they will remember a pattern of negativity or mistreatment. How to know if your cat has forgiven you? If you're concerned that your cat may be holding a grudge against you for something, it's important to observe their behavior. If your cat keeps hiding from you or tries to avoid you after a negative experience, it may be an indication that they are still processing what happened and don't feel safe around you yet. Likewise, if your pet tucks its tail, holds it down, or flattens its ears when you are nearby, it could be a sign that they still lack trust in you. On the contrary, if your cat shows relaxed body language and shows no signs of fear or anxiety when you're in their presence, it's a good sign that they have forgiven you. Even better, if your cat approaches you, needs you, rubs against you, or even purrs and sleeps next to you, it's a clear sign that they have moved past the incident and feel comfortable in your presence once again. Avoid kissing or hugging your cat as an apology. If you hurt your cat and want to apologize to them to regain their trust, don't be tempted to hug or kiss them immediately. From a cat's perspective, going for a big hug or bringing our face close to them could be perceived as a threat rather than a soothing action. Give them plenty of personal space and talk calmly to them. That way, it's more likely that your cat will forgive you when you accidentally hurt them. How to apologize to a cat after a stressful veterinary or grooming visit Certain events can be stressful for cats, so it is important to provide reassurance and comfort to help them cope with the stress. If you notice your cat is upset due to changes in routine, such as having visitors for the holidays or undergoing renovations, consider using calming aids around the house, such as feline stress pheromone sprays. Feline pheromones are scent signals that cats naturally produce to communicate and mark their territory. These pheromone sprays mimic those signals and can help create a sense of familiarity and security for your cat. And make sure to maintain a consistent routine as much as possible. 
If your cat is distressed about visits to the groomer, boarding facility, or veterinarian, consult with your vet about possible calming aids. They can recommend over-the-counter options or prescribe medication to alleviate your cat's anxiety. Common Actions That Could Damage Your Cat's Trust There are several ways you might inadvertently damage the trust between you and your cat. If you regularly force your cat to do things they don't want to do, it can create distance between you and your pet. Common examples are subjecting them to frequent and stressful nail trimming experiences or forcing them to be around visitors when they don't want to. Additionally, frightening them with sudden loud noises or startling objects can cause them to associate your presence with fear and anxiety. Keep in mind that many cats dislike being picked up. Constantly picking them up and cradling them like a baby when they don't want to can lead to negative associations and a lack of trust. Constantly yelling or even hitting your cat can also definitely damage their trust. Remember, anger does not teach your cat to behave. It simply teaches them to be afraid of you. How to show your cat affection so they know you still love them Once you've apologized to your cat by talking in a friendly voice, you may find that your cat is still distant and fearful of you. This could especially happen from a serious incident or previous trauma they've experienced. To regain your cat's trust, it's important to respect their need for space and allow them to approach you on their own terms. Use treats strategically to either reward good social interactions with you or to entice them to walk towards you. Interactive play is also a great way to strengthen your bond. Playing with your cat not only reinforces the bond you share, but also builds confidence in shy pets while keeping them active and healthy. And remember, spending quality time with your cat is the best way to show affection. Pet them, talk with them, or nap by their side to let them know you care. Being out all day and not giving much attention to them will not create that special bond between you. Do cats apologize to each other? Cats do not have a concept of apologizing in the same way that humans do. While they may display behaviors that can be interpreted as conciliatory or appeasing after a conflict, it's not accurate to interpret those actions as apologies in the human sense. But although cats don't understand the concept of being sorry, they can engage in behaviors that promote reconciliation after a conflict. After a conflict, cats may attempt to calm the tensions and remain in good standing with their social group by licking each other, sleeping close to each other, and rubbing heads. These behaviors help diffuse tension and promote a peaceful coexistence among cats. Now that you have learned more about how to apologize to your cat, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you ever found yourself needing to apologize to your pet? Have they ever held a grudge against you? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.